have two rocks uh, about similar size. Uh, one uh, was a very rounded rock, uh, broken in half. The other uh, was also somewhat rounded, broke uh, rather in a rather angular shape. Uh, they both have a similar color. They're both kind of a hard cemented material. There's actually a, a big difference in the hardness between the two rocks. Uh, this one much, much harder than that one. Also, the two rocks are, are very different from each other. This is a sedimentary rock. This is sandstone, very fine sand, that's cemented together with calcium carbonate. It's a, a marine sediment out of the Scripps Formation. has a few little fossils in it right there, a little gastropod and, and some other little fossils. The next rock has no fossils in it. It's much, much harder than sandstone. And instead of being a sedimentary rock, this is a metamorphic rock meaning it's undergone a great deal of change. But this one too started out as a sandstone, just like the other rock. But this particular sandstone being very old, in fact the age of this is over one billion years old. Somewhere along the line, the history of this rock, uh, up came a probably a large magma, a huge source of heat and pressure. It superheated this rock and pressurized it at the same time and stewed it so severely that the individual little grains of sand in this former seafloor sand became welded together. And when welded together, it's uh, sort of like a big chunks of, of quartz. These little grains of sand are also quartz. The metamorphic name, though, for this rock is quartzite, uh, rather than a sandstone. But it started out as a sedimentary sandstone. One we're looking at now with uh, my pointer in the middle is the sandstone. It's a uh, very compact cemented sandstone uh, found as a ledge uh, in the Scripps Formation. The uh, material is about 45 million years old. The sand grains are so fine that I, I don't think you can make out uh, individual grains of sand. It looks like it could be a very hard rock. But when we break the specimen, uh, we see that uh, it's a very granular, very rough. We see the graininess, and this particular one had a few fossils in it, so we know that this is sandstone. Well, now we're on the uh, second rock specimen. Uh, this started out life as a, as a very fine sand on the floor of a Precambrian sea. This sand is now severely pressurized and heated, and so the sand all welded together uh, to form the metamorphic rock quartzite. Sometimes it's uh, hard to tell uh, from the outside uh, whether a rock and then is uh, sedimentary uh, compacted sandstone or if it's quartzite, a metamorphic rock. One way I find to tell the difference is to, with quartzite, which is the harder one to tell, is to break the rock. And we've broken this a large rounded cobble in half, so we can see a fresh fracture plane on the rock. On a fresh fracture surface of quartzite, you can get the hint of graininess exactly like we got over on the piece of sandstone. Even though the grains are well together, it's a little bit grainy to the touch. That's a one clue to the fact it's quartzite. The other, another clue, of course, is this is a very, very hard material. A third clue is light uh, sparkles off those individual little silicon grains of quartz. That's a combination of about three things then that tell us this is quartzite. 